So the first problem with our gallery is that we fix the number of columns to 3. It would be better that the number of columns would adjust to the size of the content area. So if we have a narrow content area, there should be less columns, and if we have more space, there should be more. And again, CSS Grid has tools that let us do that. And the first one is called Repeat. In situations where we have a bunch of uh, columns with same size or rows, we can just use one repeat declaration instead of defining all those columns uh, one by one. So let's get rid of the two columns and double click here on the size and here we see the repeat keyword, the repeat preset and let's use it. And repeat has two parameters. The first one is the number of columns or rows that we want to create and the second is their size. So this statement will create three columns of 200 pixels each. And let's change 200 pixels to one fraction and we are where we started with three columns that equally divide all available space. Um, and what we need is that the number of columns is not fixed, not hard-coded, that it adjusts to the space that is available for them. And we get that by replacing the, the number three, the number of columns, with another CSS grid keyword called auto fit. So we type auto dash fit. And that tells the browser to fit as many columns as possible into the available space. Now, but the moment we are using one fraction as the column size and all we get is one huge column per row. So we need to tell the browser to be more flexible when it comes to sizing the columns. And do you, rem do you remember uh, a CSS grid feature that allowed us to be flexible, to say, okay, this column can be at least this big, but not more than that. Uh, we used it a few videos before, and it's called min-max. And we will use it again here. So instead of just saying one fraction, we will say min-max. And it has two parameters. The first one is the minimum size. So let's say it should be at least 100 pixels. And what should be the maximum size? So we have a couple of options. Like first of all, let's try with the fixed number, maybe 200 pixels. So let's see what happened. So now we, we can see this in action. So here we have place for two columns, size between 100 and 200 pixels. And if we make the layout smaller, and then there is space for just one column, and we make it bigger, there is still space for more. But, you know, the problem here is we have all this empty space, and it is not used. So, do you remember when we were making space on the left and right edge and we wanted to use all the available space, what, what value did we use? And we used fractions. So we can do the same here. We can say, oh, like the image should be at least 100 pixels big or the maximum should be like one whole part of the available space. And if we put fraction, then what happens is the browser will fit in as many columns as it can because of the out of fit. And it will adjust the size of these columns to be at least 100 pixels. So let's go down. But if there is more space, so if there is, like let's say there is more than 100 pixels 
space left. So then the browser will just, just add another column, right? But what if there is less space, let's say only 80 pixels? So then there is not enough space to add a new column, and those 80 pixels can be distributed to the existing columns in a row. So that is done or described by this statement. You know, min max, it will say, oh, it should be at least 100 pixels. Or if there is more space, the column should occupy one like equal fraction of the available space. And then we also say, oh, there should be many columns and the browser should fit as many such columns as possible in the available space. And uh, what this means for our layout is that the gallery will always stretch uh, like through the whole uh, space available for our content and then images will kind of uh, be adjusted to that. So they, they will be at least 100 pixels and then if there is more space they will grow a bit until there is enough space again to insert a new image, a new column into a row. And this behavior is, is perfect for galleries like ours. But we still have one issue to solve, and this, this is that we still have hard-coded uh, rows. We, we said, oh, we have two rows. So what happens um, if we have more images? Like now, you see, browser added a new row, but it's not sized like we want and it's sized automatically and then again this image then is zero height so it's not displayed so we'll fix that next <laughs>